I'm Jamie Bonham. I'm a senior ESG analyst with NEI Investments. Uh, we're a Canadian-based institutional investor uh, operating out of Vancouver. Uh, so maybe uh, step back for a second and, and say what we do at NEI Investments. So uh, our investment philosophy is that uh, companies that incorporate uh, environmental, social and governance best practices will ultimately provide better returns over the long term with uh, less risk. And so in order to um, do our analysis of companies, we actually require that environmental, social, and governance uh, data. And so for us, that metrics, uh, metrics are specifically performance related. Uh, so companies that are uh, dealing with their environmental, social, and governance risks uh, properly, uh, it should be showing up in metrics. And so if you want to talk in the oil stands context specifically, uh, it seems quite clear that there are environmental and social impacts that have the potential to drive down uh, company value over the long term. Uh, so that's obviously a, a concern for investors such as ourselves. Uh, and those risks uh, are, there are many. Uh, there's regulatory risks, there's risk from litigation, uh, there's risk to the social license to operate. Uh, and in terms of, um, from an uh, investor's perspective, we're really looking for assurance that the companies that we invest in uh, are doing an adequate job of mitigating those risks. Uh, and so having an accurate set of metrics uh, that they can publicly disclose on uh, provides us with some assurance, first of all, which direction performance is going. And so uh, we're interested in various things. We could talk um, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, water use, uh, First Nations engagement. Uh, there's a number of different metrics that we're quite interested in. And so why is this process important then? Is it important to get this discussion going about metrics and, and how will we maintain credibility of the metrics? Uh, I think the discussion is very important right now. There is uh, there's a really diverse set of information out there, a lot of contradictory information. Uh, from an investor's perspective, what this does, it creates a fair amount of uncertainty. Uh, and, and investors don't like uncertainty. The markets don't like uncertainty. Uh, and so, the risk we have right now is because there's such a diverse set of information and there is, um, uh, I guess, uh, from all sides, people feel a certain lack of credibility to what is out there. Uh, it makes it very difficult uh, to make decisions, um, accurate decisions from an investment point of view uh, on how real are the risks that are out there. Uh, so this, this topic is extremely important to us. Um, so Jamie, how will you use these metrics in the investment community? Uh, so there's a couple of aspects to how we use it. Uh, uh, in one sense, we use it to define our portfolio. So we do use this information uh, to, to, to let companies into our portfolio um, or keep them out based on performance. Probably the, the bigger uh, use of this information, and I would say this is probably uh, the trend across the investment community writ large, uh, is that we use this to identify risks facing our companies that we then engage on. Uh, and, and for us, that's the, the fundamental um, use of metric information is to drive our uh, collaborative dialogues with the companies we own uh, to identify the risks facing them on an environmental and social aspect uh, and to work with them to, uh, to address those issues. From an investor's point of view, Jamie, what do you think the role of the oil sands is going forward in a world that's trying to constrain its carbon? Mm -hmm. uh, a good question. Uh, and so the way we approach it uh, as a Canadian-based institution, uh, there is, uh, energy is a huge, if you look at the TSX, energy makes up about 25% of the TSX composite. Uh, and so uh, energy to a large degree is fundamental to the Canadian economy. Um, we can't get away from that at the moment. The, the reality is, is that um, oil sands are there. Uh, it is a, a genuine economic opportunity for Canada. The problem is that if we allow the environmental and social impacts to outweigh those economic benefits, uh, obviously we run some serious risks there. Uh, not only to the, whether we're talking environment, whether we're talking local communities, but to the actual companies themselves, uh, as well as to investors. Uh, and so um, I would argue at the moment, there is a place for investors to be investing in the oil sands uh, uh, because of this role for engagement. I think there is an opportunity to drive companies towards uh, better performance. Uh, I think our options to this to right now are, are somewhat limited in terms of uh, getting away from energy companies and uh, specifically oil sands companies if you're a Canadian investor. Uh, but I think maybe most uh, importantly is that 
uh, there is an opportunity to drive uh, whether it's innovation, uh, greater R and D. Uh, there are there are ways to improve how we're uh, approaching the oil sands, and that could have a spillover effect into a, a number of different industries. Um, the the profits generated from oil sands themselves uh, ideally will go into uh, generating a transition to a different economy. I mean, long term, it it is it's an unsustainable. Um, it's an unstable business. Uh, it's really the only way you can look at it. Uh, it's sort of the definition of a stable resource it doesn't have oil sands in it. Uh, but it is a reality, and it, it is for the near term um, something that is absolutely taking place. So I think uh, investors in particular have a, a role to play in terms of um, voicing uh, their concerns and their opinions on it. Great. Thank you very much, Jamie. Thanks for talking to us, and uh, thanks for coming to the event. Thank you.